Good morning, everybody. Welcome to your morning, Gwent. I hope you're doing well today. I hope the sun is shining, the birds are singing, and life is grand. So I mentioned in our last video, Siri Dash, and I have reconstructed the deck pretty heavily around just kind of an idea. <laughs> you know, if, if you've been watching this series, you know how well my ideas usually pan out. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'll walk you through it here. We've got three Elven Mercenaries, three First Lights. This deck is about hyper, hyper, hyper thinning. Um, so we want them just to pull out whatever we can. We got three Blue Mountain Commandos for that. That tempo and that easy, easy uh, <laughs> thin value. We got three Bryhead Officers. They're just, they're so good in a mill deck and they're core to what we're doing here. We got three Smugglers. We're running Elias and we're running Siri Dash. I think the way that with a boost works, it seems to work that if, you know, they get boosted and then shuffled back in, they're fine. So instead of running things that boost um, what we got on the board already, like the Bryhead Vanguards or, or trying to make the neophytes work why not just play the hawker support and buff up elias or siri dash even more so we basically kind of have two win conditions depending on how we draw i'm running roach for more deck thinning marching orders will always get out either either the mercenary or one of the commandos if the mercenaries are somehow all played without pulling a single commando royal decree is to get siri out asap if if we have drawn so poorly that you know that's in our wheelhouse. Eskel is just a strong gold. Um, we got shut down for here by a Skellige deck. This alone will kind of stop that from happening in the later rounds, and I think that'll be good for our deck. I am running um, a Glaze. I wasn't sure what to do with golds in this deck, but I think a Glaze might be powerful. You know, there's there's a lot of, of tech spells being played right now, so I think that's not a bad call. If it is, then I there's a lot of replacements, like uh, Gigni is chief among them. Siri would not be bad. Uh, you could run Ithlin with Alzer's Thunder or what have you. Yorvith, I, I had Yorvith in the deck before I started, and I took him out. Lambert's fine. There's, there's a ton of choices. You could, even, you could even run Geralt or Saskia to help with Mulligan hand fixing. Almost did that as well. But anyway, um, some of the funkiness in this deck revolves around Johnny and Sarah. Oh, that reminds me. I uh, was going to take out Kieran and put in Decoy. So Sarah will mulligan a card and we'll draw a copy of the, the same color. So if we mulligan Elias, we'll get perhaps Johnny or, or Marching Orders or Decoy. Just good stuff, basically. The only bad thing would be Roach, so we'll have to do that not early. Or perhaps more importantly, she can mulligan Siri Dash. And uh, by doing that, although I guess she won't hit the graveyard. So I guess uh, I was thinking Siri got buffed up by uh, being Mulligan as well, but that's not the case. So Sarah will mostly be here to Mulligan Elias, and Johnny exists to discard Siri, and then you can decoy and perhaps do it again. But now that I'm saying that out loud, you're probably not going to be able to do that twice in the same turn, right? It's probably not going to happen. So maybe decoy is a bad card. We're we're deck building on the fly. What what would be good here? What would uh, what would I'll just double cross bring out? It would guarantee pretty much bringing out a an an Elias in the in the late game here. Yeah, do that for some consistency. What what are some other things we could run? Summoning circles is a solid card. Dorgar is always good. I Eamon's okay. I don't think she's the best buy. I don't know. Let's go with this. It's fine. I, I'm not going to belabor the point. I think we can thin to the to a point where we can uh, we can play around with Elias and uh, Siri Dash and kind of have two smaller win conditions. Um, we'll find out. I have no idea how this is going to go. The last video inspired me to make another wonky deck. I haven't seen Siri Dash since. The change to Empire Enforcers, and there was like uh, that good, good Calviat thin dash deck. That was a lot of fun. I actually played that one for a little while. 
All right, so we got Johnny, we got a glaze, we got those, but that's good to have right there. We don't want first light in hand, we don't want roach in hand. Another merc in hand is totally fine. So we are, I think we're happy with this. But we're gonna want, we're gonna wanna use Francesca very, very early on here so that we can use uh, Johnny on Siri Dash. Yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna wanna do that early on. That is interesting. I mean, I'm I'm pretty happy to just do this. Help thin that deck a little bit. A, a dry pass on round one is it it throws me off a little bit every time it happens. Uh, OBS, there you are, perfect. All right, so we got another smuggler. Fine with that. Royal decree is good. Royal Decree is good. But is it what we want? Maybe Royal Decree is actually not great in this deck. Hmm. No. No, it's fine. Let's uh let's go with that. Yeah, so we're gonna Royal Decree Siri Dash immediately. So boom, she's out. And that's fine and also dandy. So we are gonna want Elias in hand so that we can buff the heck out of him with a, with a hawker support and then send him back to the graveyard or send him back to the deck so that we can draw him. Um, hmm, that's fine, I think. I think that's okay. This idea might be bad. <laughs> this deck might just not work. Which is okay. Okay, so we'll get rid of one of those. And we will draw Elias. We could draw Siri Dash back. And then immediately check her with Johnny. Yeah, actually, let's do that. Let's do that. So Siri Dash is back in our hand. We're gonna, I think, buff the heck out of her the with the smuggler. Does that work? Does that make sense? Am I okay? I don't know if I'm okay. Yeah, boost won't live in the graveyard. It just won't do its thing there. But we want to do it anyway. Yeah, so Siri... What? Go Black Banner! What? He's got all of his golds in hand, is what that means, isn't it? Ha cha cha. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The storm is coming. Let's enjoy well, the let's, uh, let's first lay chain here. Oh, le less of a big chain than I anticipated here. I mean, that's great value, actually. She lost her boost, and she's not destined for the graveyard now, but we can still draw her back. Alright, that's annoying, but it's fine also, though. So we'll, uh... Continue first lighting here. Should just get another Merc. Uh, or another Riot Officer. Sure. That is exactly fine. Alright, so we'll mulligan the support. And there's Siri Dash. She, she didn't lose her buff because she got mulligan. That's right. That That's sensible. Oh, uh, she's boosted now, so we can't actually kill her. So we should Hawker support Siri Dash. Right? Yeah. Yeah, also, he has Scorch. So we, we've got an Aglaze with Scorch. Just hanging out. Um, so we're going to Eskel this Marksman. 
And then we're going to immediately uh, glaze scorch the other one, I think. I think that's just a good idea. Just going to move my guys? Yeah. You got Hailstorm brewing, my dude? He may. He may indeed. That's fine, though. Uh, what worries me about me scorching is now if he has a glaze, he can scorch. <laughs> he or she. Lots of premiums rocking. Nova is such a nice premium. Zoltan's good. I, I think Zoltan and Dandelion are <laughs> exploding out of the same house. Probably the inn from Witcher 3. What's it called again? The Rooster's Nest or something like that? That's probably just incorrect. Ah, uh, last right. Classic. Classic. <clears throat> Alright, so easy, easy call here. You do this, you get a Merc, you rally, and you get a Smuggler. Guaranteed. Yep. Boom. Roasted. Alright, boom, there you go. So in, in our deck is Sarah and Elias and something else that I'm not thinking of. Oh. Okay, so we just played a glaze to do what exactly? Oh, to get marching orders. Smart. Smart, smart, smart. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, riot Siri Dash here. We got it. We got Elias. That's fine and also dandy. We will hawk to support Elias. And then we will mulligan him away. Does that make sense? Mm, no, maybe, maybe we won't do that. Hmm. Confusing my draws a little bit here. Having having the two win conditions might actually be just dumb. <laughs> what must be done. Maybe Elias and Sarah are actually not important for this this thing that we got going on at all. But but, 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 what if we get Siri Dash back? Oh, 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 that's so good. That's so good. Okay. No, 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 that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so. Yeah, we, we just play this. We just play this. It's Elias, and he's a strong, independent boy. And they have to play something. And then we will... Oh. I'm I'm a I'm a ding dong idiot man. I forgot the part where they could just pass. Shoot. <laughs> I got real excited. Got real excited. Okay. So we we do have a twenty two power Siri Dash, but he's got he's got three cards. <laughs> oh, why am I so dumb? Up now. Don't taunt. That's not needed. It's not nice. Also, if you're gonna taunt, play your cards. Don't try to get me to forfeit. Cause, you know, pass. So I I messed up. I just I don't know what's wrong with me. Ever since I've slumped, I'm not trying to make up excuses, but ever since I slumped, I haven't been thinking things through. So he's gonna glaze into scorch. So we're just gonna leave. We're just we're done. It's fine. He does not get a GG. He, he taunted us, and he's a big jerk man. We are gonna go back to the drawing board mid game here. Unashamedly. So, Elias just doesn't work with also Siri Dash. What does that leave us with? What what do we want to replace? We've got two silver slots. Thorgary is, is chief amongst them. Yavin could be good. Yavin might be sensible even. 
Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. So Alzer's double cross also doesn't make sense now because of the lack of Yaven. Uh, jeez. Or uh, the lack of Elias. Did I say Yaven? I meant Elias. All right. So we'll do we'll do a Yaven because that's that's just good to have usually. But then then what do we want? Do we want a Laren just for the For the, uh, the the thinning preps, Alarian and Dorigary. Yeah, let's let's do Alarian and Dorigary. And then are we good with Royal Decree? Because as soon as I played Royal Decree, I realized we can just we can just grab Siri Dash. Let's just we can just do that. We got that power. But what would we want in the place of that? Maybe maybe Yorvith? Probably Yorvith. Yeah. Let's let let's take Yorvith. Okay. So now maybe, you know, we'll we'll be in a situation where we wish we had Elias and we'll just we'll draw differently and that's uh, fine. We're learning together. This is not a series about me playing well. I <laughs> I'll play well off camera. I was top 100 briefly, you gotta believe me. I actually have screenshot proof, so you don't have to believe me. I was very proud of myself that day. All right, we got Krach on Crete versus Francesca. All right, what, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? So we don't have Sir Dash in hand and that's okay. Oh, uh, Yaven is actually great for the Bryhead officers as well. I kind of forgot about that. Um, this is fine. This is fine. Excuse me while I... Oh, no, I'm not going to off-top quite yet, then. I will play those commandos. Then I got to I gotta do a thing. Got to do a thing. Check an email, send a quick reply that I got it work never stops all right you didn't miss anything not that obs stopped recording there's slightly less music you'll be okay what's it gonna be what's it gonna be i assume it's gonna be the the classic uh Discard a bunch of stuff, play Jenga Fret, life is good, or the, the great sword into Jenga Fret, anything like that. Alright. That's a strange play. That's a weird one. I don't trust it at all. So I am going to go ahead and play Francesca here. You know what? I'm going to get rid of my Merc. And I'm going to draw uh, Sir Dash. Of course. Of course. And if he, if he passes, then he passes. I'm okay being down one card for, for a round win. That's no problem. But just, I don't know. It's, it's a weird opener. Immediate Dorgary is a weird opener. Oh, wait a second. Is he going to restore Dorigary, though? He could he could restore Dorigary, though. Yeah, I could see that being the case. We could... Uh, no, the, the Akimara would eat him. I was going to say we could Eskel immediately, but that's just not how the world works, is it? Also, super duper meant to... Uh, to, to use Johnny there. That was uh that was just incorrect, folks. I'm just dumb. We can steal a uh, a revive with a glaze. I'd be very happy to do that. We can hawker support Roach as well <laughs> for funsies. 
All right. So this should be a chain of mostly, mostly mercenaries. No, you give riot officer every time that you try to do that. All right, but you check away Yaven. You get another mercenary, so life is is good. Aileron pops out. Everything is fine and dandy. Don't even trip, dog. All right, so since I'm, I made a goof with Johnny here, we got to thin as much as we can so that we definitely draw Siri. Yeah, we, we got to. And we can do it. I think. Yeah, we, we can do it. That was only one mark. This will get rid of three more cards. We'll be down to four. Um, a mulligan with Roach will make it effectively three. Yeah, we should be okay here. We should be okay. Okay, um, I think, although I would love the, to get Roach out of here first, I, am I think we gotta do that. I don't need him proliferating any further than he was going to. Eskel is the world's greatest Jenga frat counter known to man. It's, it's so good. It's the perfect card counter. I love it. What's, what's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? I would not be surprised if he passed. I would honestly prefer if he did not pass. I would very much rather play this round out a, a little further so I could thin the old deck, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely see how it goes. It We do still, even if we... Uh, don't get to play the round out. Hmm. Interesting. That's that's no problem. That is no problem. So we will get to thin our deck even more. Oh, we got a hacker support. That makes sense. So we will boost Roach actually, because I think that's that's novel and kind of fun. He'll pass probably on that adrenaline rush, which is fine and also dandy. It bothers me precisely zero. We got a we got a big Papa Eskel waiting for him. Big Pappy E. That's what uh, that's what the the kids call him, I think. All right. Well, well, he thinks about his turn. I'm gonna turn the heat down in my apartment as I drop my glasses. Oh my god. Alright, he has passed, we have returned. Life is but a dream. Life is but a dream. Alright, we got Yaven. I'm I'm down with that. Alright, we gotta get rid of Roach here. Siri Dash. Oh wow. I mean we did have a about a twenty five percent chance of of that happening upon the the mulligan there but that's still beating the odds or it's more of a 20 percent chance i suppose that would have been card five is that how math works so we we want to do this immediately all right and we got yankon that's actually dope and uh he can't just pass either so he might have expected us to just drive past and say, you know, this is fine. But we get to play this out as, as long as we want to play it out. And you know what? We want to play it out for a while if we got Yenkon. That bothers me not. Because we took that first round from him. And we could also um, a glaze Adrenaline Rush if we were keen on doing that. You could you could do that on, on Yenkon, theoretically. That would be cool. I would like that. Yankon's a great card that I don't think gets enough play these days, but I understand completely why it does not. So he could kill that instantly, and that's fine. But we got Roach out, and I'm very pleased about that. Yeah, that's that's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. You can't... Okay, I was going to say, you can't take a, a gold card, can you? Because <laughs> you would ruin my life if you could do that, sir. 
You would ruin my life. All right, so I don't want First Light to grab a support. It may, though. Totally could. Let's play Yaven right right out the gate here. So we got Dora Gary. I'm happy about it. That gives us some carryover for the next round. Now I'm wondering if, uh, if Sierra would be the better choice. I mean, it's pretty unlikely that we're ever going to be in a situation where we want to unlock our own Yencom. But you never know. You never know. But yeah, we, we're at the point where we, we just want to bleed this round out. As long as we can, we will almost certainly draw a uh, Siri Dash back. Getting Yaven back is fine. <laughs> It's of no import, I think. It gives us a little more strength to, to work with, to play around with. I'll just put that on a glaze, I suppose. Doesn't really make a difference. And uh, now we're in, a, in the fortunate position where we have a great target for um, an Adrenaline Rush, if we wanted it. And Yaven, of course. Oh, this guy takes forever to take his turns. I'm sorry to complain. It is your sovereign right. Or it is your right as a sovereign Gwent citizen. But man, oh man. It's it's so rare that I actually have to rope when I'm paying full attention to a, to a game. It just it irks me a tiny little bit. Just a tiny, a wee, a wee little, little irk. All right, so I think we mulligan the first light, and he, he gains five, and we got a Siri Dash, actually. Oh, yeah, that's real good. In my head, Siri Dash was hitting the graveyard and reviving the next round, but that's not, that's not how any of this works, my dude. That is not how any of this works. So I'm, I'm saving Eskel for like a last round kind of play. There's the restore. So we might want to restore like a, like a riot officer of our own, perhaps. We don't have a single riot officer in the grave, but we could restore an elven merc. Um, Adrenaline Rush of our own might be better as well. I had a little issue with that. Um, I, we're gonna we're gonna play Dora Gary here, no matter what. Get a sweet sweet Ekimara. Oh, you know what? You can eat you can eat Siri. That's accidentally the greatest <laughs> discovery of my life. There's something here. This I think this deck has something going on so, some good stuff some very good stuff my my only trepidation is if we don't draw Siri and we don't mulligan into Siri that we're a little bit boned Coral I hate Coral so much you actually have no idea how much I hate Coral it's it's the hatred of a thousand sons. Mm, 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 mm. So if we escal the the guy that's adrenaline rushed, restore Elven Merc might be better. Because I've played two first lights just to just to make the draw better. I think that's what we gotta do. It's it's the less sexy play, honestly. But I think it's the right play. All right, and now I'm choosing a card to play. Is this correct? This is correct. All right, so you, you go back here. You get that first light. You get to rally. You get a smuggler. I right, check out on Escalus, no problem. So now we got two cards in here. 
So now you know I'm sitting here like, all right, we got a, we got a Mulligan Eskel, right? We could get Siri Dash again. But is that what we want to do? Well, I mean, otherwise, when do we? Uh, Yeah, I, I think we do. I think we do. So we got Siri Dash again, and that's good. That's that's good stuff. But we need Eskel as well. So maybe we pass here, so that we guarantee ourselves Eskel and Siri Dash. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's that's what we do. Am I correct in doing this? I don't know. But I think it is the right choice. If we only had that, that last final card, but we're down to two cards instead. And I'm not I don't have Gwent Tracker updated for like the a hundredth time. Because I'm a ding dong. Idiot, man. It was another Elven Mark. So yeah, if we didn't do that, and then we we drew Siri Dash Elven Mark, or Eskel Elven Mark, that would have been very bad. That would have been very much not good. Oh, pardon me again. I'm the least professional man of all time. Um, so you play Siri Dash, and then you, you go, what? No. How? And you, you pray that he, he pity passes. Gaunt or Odin? Did he say higher? What did he do? He said higher. Then fire. Okay. Well, this is it. This is all I got. Just just a single Elven Mark. Let's enjoy a premium Gonthro Dim that we'll never see again. It's pretty sweet. It's got some good tunes going on it. Oh no! Oh no, he, it's not a boost. It's not a boost. So does this win it for us? This brings us up to 28. No? Yes! Yes! We've done it! Oh my. We've done it. If he would have guessed right on Gaunter, he would have won. 100%. Oh, I'm sorry for all timing all the time. Alright, uh, was that three games or was that just two long games? I think that was just two long games. So we've got one more game in store. I have to leave for work very soon, so hopefully they're not like terribly, it's not a terribly long game. But I'm I'm psyched. We won. We we actually learned some tricks that this deck has, like uh, Ekimara on Siri Dash. That's real cool. My cloak has suffered much. This deck could go places. I say that about every deck that I make, despite ninety percent of them being garbage. But I think this deck could go places. All right. Um. Would have liked to have Johnny. You know what? Let's go for broke here. All right, that worked out very well, actually. So it's okay that we don't have Johnny, because we'll do uh, we'll do a Siri dash anyway, and Johnny can can do it in the next round for us. We'll we'll bring Roach out here as well. Wait, can Radavid lock Siri dash? Is he gonna ruin? our lives I shit shoot I mean um I I genuinely don't know and it frightens me a lot 
Hmm. I mean, why? Why wouldn't he be able to? I suppose, right? Oh, buddy. Okay, so we need to. Uh, we need to get a good chain going here. Without luck, we're we're just gonna get one of the one of the Mulligan boys because that's what we always we didn't we didn't. That's good. That's good. Oh, we've actually done the impossible. We've thinned our deck appropriately, and we got we got a riot officer. Life is but a freaking dream, baby. Uh, you should have what? I I can test this actually. I had a ton of elves out. What were, you, what were you doing, my dude? It's fine. I can just I can just mulligan her away, and then she'll pop right back out. But like, I don't know. I feel feel a little a little robbed. All right, so we'll do that. So you go away, and then come right back. Yeah. So that's good. Um, we probably want to pass on our next turn. Mm, that's that's going to be a big old boosty boost. So two four six, and then two four six would tie it back up. So he has to play something on his turn. No, he doesn't. Ah, I forgot about the reinforced trebuchet. Oh, I'm an idiot, man. I'm a ding-dong idiot, man. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, is, is he not going to do the math? Don't do the math. <laughs> Whatever you do, make, make sure it's not the math. That's all I ask. That's all I'm, all I'm asking here. Oh, oh, it's so good. He's he's not going to punish us for our foolish mistake. We still may lose this game because he's playing, I think, just a fundamentally stronger deck, but he made a mistake there. That was, that was me making a tiny little miscalculation, which was a huge mistake in the long run, and that was him not catching my error. You know, I forgot to carry the one, and he, uh, he didn't check. He just uh, marked the answer correct. <laughs> Which is good. Those are the kind of teachers you want to have. The, the kind of TAs you want to mark in your papers, right? All right, so we got Siri Dash back. That's good. Happy about it. I am going to mulligan a support away because I want um, I want Johnny. I want Johnny real bad. Theoretically, we could we could save Johnny to the last round, and that would be fine. Hmm. Depends what he does. Hmm. I mean, I think you gotta. You, I think you just. That's just what you do, in that case, right? All right. Let me let me read for a second. Play a bronze or silver soldier, machine, officer, or support unit from your deck. We do actually have a support unit. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no reason to waste a card. So this, this will be prime Johnny Fishing territory here. We can do some cool stuff. And we actually do want the Hawker support in our deck, so getting Johnny is, is the world's greatest. Also, mad respect for Johnny making a ploppy, and there's Siri right there. That, if <laughs> if ever there was a card that I just got a premium, it's gotta be, it's gotta be Johnny, right? All right, he does have a card. It is just John Natalis, but I mean, it's basically free value. It's free real estate. You know it, I know it. Everybody knows it. So now, actually, 
Since he does have Natalis, I wager we save a glaze. And uh, we don't actually do anything until we can have uh, Commander's Horn. I think that could be very good. So I think here we, we play Francesca. We, do what must be we will actually mulligan away the support because we want more of those in our deck. Theoretically, so there, that's all that's in our deck. Anyway, we want Siri Dash back. Because we're going to play it, we're going to door Gary it, and then we're going to try to get it back. Yeah. The odds are not like 10 out of 10 for making this happen. But we are going to give her a go. Yeah. We're going to give her a go. So I'm still actually petrified that he's going to Radovid Siri Dash. And I just, I, just, I don't know if, if it'll work. Because technically speaking, she hits the graveyard and revives herself. And, and generally the revives will uh, kind of undo the damage that's wrought in such situations. So I just don't know. I, I genuinely do not know. And although Commander's Horn would be heckin' sweet, we actually know that he doesn't have John Natalis in his hand because we drew him with Johnny. So he has to be in the deck still. So we definitely do use a glaze and we grab the support. We play it on the riot officer. Yeah. A decoy is actually very interesting. Because we could do that on, on John Natalis. Although we'll probably just get another John Natalis, to be honest. So let's, uh, let's grab our premium support here. It's the best one. Well, uh, we'll, we'll put it on the officer because it's definitely getting played. <sighs> now, now the question comes becomes: uh, Do you play Yaven, or do you mulligan Yaven? It's it's a high rollers dilemma because if you mulligan Yaven and you draw Siri Dash, you got a thirty three percent chance to do it, and you definitely get the best return on investment but if you don't get it you're boned so obviously we gotta try and we got burned we got burned hard really really hard so that's that is downright unfortunate um i think mathematically we cannot win here but we'll uh, we'll play it out. If we would have had Siri Dash, we would have won. We just we didn't thin as much as we needed to. So maybe I should go back to the drawing board once more. Add in a a couple extra thins. I don't know. But yeah, instead of uh, John the Talos here, we would have had a what like a 19 power Siri Dash, which you know what, wouldn't have been enough anyway. It would have been close. Would have been close. Dun Banner Heavy Cavalry is not dead. Armor NR is not dead. <laughs> it's just not broken anymore. Anyway, we went one and two with what I think is a very cool deck. Oh, buddy. that's That hurts me on the inside, that rank right there. Oof. Ow. I'm definitely going to have to grind at some point. Get us back up to where we want to be. But that's okay. That's for another time. This has been Dash Attack. Let me know if, if you like it. <laughs> Let me know if you've got any tweaks for it. I'm sure there's a better way to do something like this. But I think Siri Dash has, has its place in the meta, so to speak. I think we can make it work. Or maybe not us, but I think somebody can make it work. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you've been enjoying the videos, hit that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know. But perhaps most importantly, subscribe. We're a tiny little channel. Every little bit helps. In the meantime, I hope your coffee stays warm.
and your day goes well. I'll see you tomorrow.